Well, good morning, shipmates, and welcome aboard. Put out a fender and come alongside. And uh, thanks for stopping in for today's episode. Uh, you know, if you're if you're anything like me, you know, the older you get, oftentimes uh, I spend a lot of time, you know, looking back at how things used to be and, and comparing them to how things are today. And uh, yesterday. I'm sure pretty much most of you out there know that uh, the Carnival Ecstasy left on its final voyage, and uh, I noticed I was on uh, John Heal, you know, he's the uh, ambassador of Carnival for people that don't know, but I was on his uh, Facebook page kind of following along his posts about uh, his experience on board, and I noticed that he posted uh, a copy of the Carnival Capers from when he was on the ecstasy. Uh, now the Carnival Capers was basically the paper copies uh, of the uh, schedule of the ship. You know, uh, when you go on a cruise, uh, I mean, maybe not more so nowadays. Nowadays they're moving to more of a, a digital thing where you find everything on the app, but you can still request the paper copies of the daily schedule um, of events on the ship. And so he, he posted the, uh, you know, paper copies from back in uh, 92 when he used to be the cruise director on the Carnival Ecstasy. And it was pretty interesting. And so I thought maybe I'd share some of that with you and have a little fun with it. You know, kind of see, kind of compare how things used to be to how things are today. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. And on the very first page, uh, you know, one of the things that kind of jumped out at me was the fact that they pretty much had the buffet open till 2.30 a.m. So, uh, often time, you know, these days, uh, it seems like your late night dining options are pretty much, uh, pizza, you know, whether you're on Royal Caribbean, whether you're on Carnival, the late night pizza is pretty much your, your only option after a certain hour. But, uh, on the Carnival XC, Ecstasy back in uh, 92, they actually had the buffet open all the way up to 2.30 in the morning. So, I, you know, I found that kind of interesting. Uh, then going down through the schedule, they had, uh, I guess what they were calling walk a mile on the sun deck. And afterwards, you could get free foot and ankle massages. Now, how, how you know, how cool is that? Uh, you certainly won't get free foot massages on cruises today. Uh, you, you're going to have to pay uh, a little bit for that. So that's that's kind of neat. And then going down the schedule uh, from 9 to 10 p.m., so almost the whole day, on the Atlantic deck, they had, uh, well, actually at 10 a.m., 10, excuse me, 10 a.m. on the promenade, pr uh, promenade deck aft, they had uh, trap shooting. So, I mean, that, that's kind of mind blowing. I mean, I can't imagine, uh, in today's, in today's cruising world, them actually doing, uh, you know, skeet shooting or trap shooting. So that must've been something to see back then. And then, uh, moving forward, I noticed that they had, uh, I mean, I guess they still do the, they still have the snorkel equipment, but I, they were actually doing underwater camera rentals, and uh, I'm not sure if they do that these days, but that seems kind of interesting, you know, for back then. Uh, and then they had tuxedo rental service, which is kind of interesting. You know, it, uh, from 10 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. in the disco, they were doing a tuxedo rental service, so... You know, that's kind of a neat idea. I mean, with the formal nights, people are always worried about, gee, I got to pack this extra stuff. Well, hey, here you can rent a tux uh, and, and not even have to worry about it. So that's interesting. At 10 a.m. in the Blue Sapphire Lounge, they had horse racing. And that, I'm not sure how they were doing it. I don't know if it was one of those satellite off-track off -track betting things uh, that they kind of do. I, I kind of see that now throughout the country. So I don't know any of you that sailed back then uh, and, and know what they were talking about, uh, you know, please let us know in the comments because I'd be interested to hear about that. 
And then going down through the schedule, uh, and they have more trap shooting at 2 p.m. on the promenade deck. Uh, and then going down, they used to have, they were having wine and cheese parties, and I haven't, that's something I haven't really seen here lately. Uh, and then they were doing something called the Lucky Cabin Number. Uh, check in daily at the Ecstasy gift shop on the promenade deck to see if you're the lucky winner. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's that's kind of an interesting uh, deal, and and I don't know what the prizes were. Maybe someone could let us know in the comments. But but that that would be a kind of a neat thing. Uh, then you go on the last page here, and it. Pretty much the standard, standard uh, stuff, you know, um, all the different shows and stuff. But uh, notice uh, they have the Bingo Supreme from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the Starlight Lounge. And it says $100 is the minimum cash prize. And I guess the high prize, the big prize, was could be $1,000. So now I haven't played Bingo uh, on, on the cruise I always see it, and I always kind of put that on my things to do, but I never seem to get around to it. But for you bingo players out there, what uh, what's the minimum prize these days? Is it a hundred dollars, uh, like it was back then? Is it more? Uh, you know, let us know in the comments uh, what you think about that. But uh, that's pretty much the highlights of it. It just it just seemed kind of interesting. Some of the things, uh, you know, with the Tuxedo rentals and uh, wine and cheese parties and trap shooting. Um, I mean, it and the horse racing. I mean, seems like it was a pretty much a different world back then. I, I never, I didn't go on my first cruise until 2019, so I, I really don't have you know much to compare it to. But uh, yeah, it's it's always interesting to take a look back and see how things were, compare them to what, what they are today. You know, it's always interesting, good discussion. But, uh, you know, what do you guys think? Is there something that they did back in the day that you liked and you'd like to see them bring it back in some form or fashion? Uh, you know, let us know in the comments. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. I uh, put out my first uh, cruise vlog from the... Uh, my Alaska cruise that I came back off of real uh, here recently. I put that out on uh, the Sunday, I believe. And uh, so if you get a chance, you know, go check it out. Let me know what you think. Other than that, I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. I know some people had a three day weekend out of this. Some people didn't, but hope you had a good, good, good weekend either way. And I will see you guys around the way. Fair winds and following seas.